and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to use the threshold. We can do lots of fun stuff with it, but let's go over the basics here first. I've got the origin right here and I copy it, let me rename it and I make sure that this is active in the layers menu. And under colors you will find the threshold. Preview is checked so that we can see the effects applied in real time. And you've got this left hand slider and right hand slider and it affects the dark and the light parts in the image. You can change the channel so let's check the preview. Our background right here is very bluish so if we go to our blue channel and we drag the slider from right to left you can see that we'll get parts of the background back as it is blue in the original. You can always try the auto Maybe in a value channel it looks somewhat nice. But I like this effect on the blue channel. So I go down right here with the darker parts and the lighter parts so that I have something like this. Let me confirm it. One cool effect that you can use, it's very easy, just go to the blending mode and use screen for this when you got the original below and you will get this, ah, looks like a comic effect a little bit and all that you need is this threshold and the blending mode of screen and then you're good to go. As I've said, you can do lots of fun stuff with it and we're going to use this in future tutorials. But that's it about the basics of the threshold in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.